Hello and welcome to PairTradingPro.com. This channel is all about pair trading and uh, the special uh, software I have developed for pair trading on the MT4 platform. On previous videos, I've shown you the indicator and EA, and uh, one of the most crucial parts of pair trading correctly is actually to have a correct position, position sizing. And uh, I think many traders uh, do not really grasp uh, the importance of this. Uh, you cannot just put in uh, equal sized legs uh, uh, like 0 0.01 on both long and short assets. You have to actually calculate that each leg has the same money value for your asset A and asset B. Uh, again, I continue with my example of the German DAX 30 versus the NASDAQ 100. So how do you calculate this equal money value? Well, uh, you take the actual value of the DAX 30, which uh, right now is around 12,000. 330 points. Then you take the value of one lot on your MT4 broker, and that is, of course, very different from broker to broker. It's up to you to read on your broker's uh, uh, specification. In my case, uh, I use IG. I have a value of 25 euros per point uh, for a full lot. Then times my lot size. And since the German DAX and NASDAQ are not in the same currency, you actually have to compensate also for the currency. In this case, while I'm recording this, the euro is worth $1.12. So that's my one side of the trade. And I want that to be equal of the value of a NASDAQ, which now is around 99.43 times value of one lot, which on my broker is as high as 100 USD, times X. X stands for the unknown. I want to find out if I trade 0 0.01 German DAX, what do I have to trade on NASDAQ for those two to be equal? And very simple math, you can see X then equals, you just take this divided by uh, 99.43 times 100, you get an X of 0 0.035. And those of you familiar with MT4 trading know that this is too small a position size. You cannot trade smaller than uh, 0 0.01. So what I have to do basically is to uh, increase the size of a German DAX. So if I go up to 0 0.03, then it should be a very good hedge. What I've done is I've already, uh, when I pair trade, I have that prepared uh, beforehand and I have all this calculated in small boxes. So here you have, for instance, uh, the DAX 30, as I referred to you compared to the NASDAQ. Here is the value of a DAX, 25 euros, $100. And then I can just enter on the yellow field uh, 0 0.03. If I put in 0 0.01, what happens? You see it's too small. So I have to actually go up. Excel is very useful for this. And then I see I have a perfectly hedged position. It's not always like that. Sometimes there is a little 0.1 or 0.2 and you have to decide for yourself if that's okay for you. But this is an excellent hedged position. You can see here, uh, Further down, I'm trading in Swedish kronas that the value of these two legs is almost identical. Uh, so make sure that when you trade, you actually trade the same value because then you are hedged. So if there is a sudden drop, let's say both stock indices uh, plummet with 2% due to some news event, if as long as you're perfectly hedged, it will not hurt your position. You will be maybe up 200 uh, USD on one and down 200 on the other one. So uh, as long as you have the same money value. Then as a little add-on, I can just mention, I won't go through that. You have to Google that for yourself. But on Excel, you actually have a very good feature that you do not have to update this manually all the time. You can actually put in, like here I have a German DAX, the NASDAQ, 
and then I can just go to uh, data, update all, and then it updates to the latest uh, value on both the currencies and the stock exchanges. So my little pair trading calculator here is very easily updated. If you do not do that, it's no problem. You see here on the yellow, I, those are the ones I haven't found. I just update them manually. So that was uh, the explanation on uh, balancing the lot size. I cannot stress that enough because it's easily forgotten and it might look complex. It's not that bad. You just have to use the Excel sheet and find out what one lot size is worth and make sure that you have the same size. Preferably, as always, try on demo first, make sure that it looks good, that your position is actually hedged. Uh, so that was a lot size video. Uh, please uh, come back and look at further pair trading videos where I will explain further the pair trading strategies uh, I use. Thank you. Bye.